But my guys, guys, non-binary pals, it's your favorite teacher, Mr. Pacific -y. And welcome to Intro to Differential Calculus. Now today, we're going to figure out how to find the derivative of this mysterious sigma function. The sigma. Oh my gosh. Now this, this, is, the, this is the sigma you see on your subway surfers, guys. So today, let's see how we can find the derivative of this. So let's say you want to find the derivative of f in relation to, um, let's just say, x1. Now, how, how do you do this? How would you find the derivative of this mysterious function that sums everything in? Now, what we can do, instead of looking at this complicated, big complicated thing, we can turn it and simplify it into this. So now, now we simplified it to this, and now it's much easier. So this, this is still f of x. It's just simplified into this. Now you guys probably all know how to how to do this. We just get rid of all the other variables because we just treat them as constants since in relation to this. And then bing, bada boom. We have our derivative x2. But th this would just be zero because, because there's nothing multiplying it. So if if this was if this was like three x two then it would be it would just be three. So that's how you find the derivative of the sigma function. Now let's do a little practice here. So right here I have the mean squared error function. This is a function you see on like statistics. It's it's also used in AI as a loss function or whatever. And no, how do we find the derivative of this? So I, I just write like a. Uh, cos function of let's say y equals no. Now let, let's say we want to find derivative of c in relation to de, to the to a y. Let, let's just put an arbitrary number like three. So we can isolate this into here, this part, and then this part. What we can do is expand this a bit, minus y at 2 squared. So we can just treat these as constants like before and then we just cross them out. Boom. Oh, I forgot to add the 3. And we, we just we just cross these out and now we're left with this right here. And then now y'all probably know the power rule. So it, it's just exactly y subscript 3 y hat 3. Now here, we, we finally found the derivative of this part in relation to this. Now, all we have to do now is just apply the chain rule, since this is just like 1nx. It, it's just, boom, we have the derivative, 1n. Now applying the chain rule, we have 2, and my bad, y3 minus y hat 3. And boom, you have the derivative. Now, now uh, don't mind this big funny uh, little equal sign right here. And yeah, that is basically how you calculate the derivative of the sigma. So uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, see you guys in the next uh, Intro to Differential Calculus.